welcome to today's video where based on somebody's comment I decided to show people how to know if your Mitutoyo caliper is a real one or a fake uh, caliper. Now there are lots of Mitutoyo calipers on Amazon that are actually fake so you should always be careful buying these. Now the first thing you want to look at is even before you open it you want to see that the actual case that the caliper comes in has the made in Japan text on it because that sticker for the case has to be there. Similarly, the back of the case also would have made in Japan written out here. And on the right, if, if you buy it from Amazon, you will be getting that barcode. But if you get it from Mitutoyo directly, that barcode would not be there. So let's pull that out. Now the first thing you want to see is even before you get to the caliper, is the quality of the case itself. This case has a very high quality. There are no, uh, you know, that all the lines are crisp and you're looking for the text that says made in Japan at the bottom of the plastic case. This has a barcode that says made in Japan. Let me see if I can focus on that. But you, it'll also have the text right at the center saying made in Japan. So this is centered between these two points and it has a raised lip all around it so you will never be scratching this bottom and again you are looking for PP6 which is the type of uh, the plastic that they're using similarly there would be no scratches out here and this has just a very smooth soft finish the texture of this is such it's think of a 1980s plastic. This has the smooth, the way 1980s printers would have had the texture. This has the soft texture. The Now let's open it and let's go to the actual caliper. Now again on the inside, you have, these are all the extrusion marks that you're going to see, you're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So look for these and then this would actually there's 9. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So be sure you get the right number of extrusion marks. I'm not going to count but you can refer to my video and try to identify where these extrusion marks are because this will show basically the mold that it's being made on. Made on. And the Chinese manufacturers are using different molds compared to the mold that the Mitutoyo is using in Japan. You will be getting a lot of text with your thing. What you want to be sure is look for the certificate. The certificate actually, you know, the let me see where the certificate went. It should be somewhere here. Yeah, there you go. Now, often, you know, you get different people signing it. The certificate is no longer signed by hand. They make so many uh, uh, calipers that they it's not possible for them to sign by hand. So if your certificate is not inspected by uh, a quality control manager, that's fine. It, you know, it's still a very much an authentic uh, caliper. Let's put this back. I, I already use mine. So one of the things that you want to be sure about is the first thing is be sure this is using uh, SR44 battery. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, so you want to be sure that the battery is in not an LR but an S battery. You the Let me turn it around so you can see it clearly. The SR44W, made in Japan. These batteries are expensive and typically the Chinese fakes will usually substitute an SR LR44 instead of an SR44 button. Till 2018, the a good way to know was the origin button was recessed, like the uh, inch millimeter selector button. But these days, in 2018 they changed their design so the origin button is actually comes off the surface and that's okay again you've 
that just means you have a, a post 2018 caliper. Let's put this back. Again, let's take a good look at the caliper. You want to see extreme levels of uh, fit and finish. There really should not be any imperfections anywhere whatsoever. Please understand, these are going through a quality control. If there was an imperfection, the quality control will pick it up. So if your caliper has any imperfection whatsoever, it probably means it's fake because Mitutoyo quality control would have picked up uh, all, you know, imperfections that might have occurred. Let me close this so I can use this as a platform to work on this. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to be sure with any caliper is obviously as you turn it on, it will start at zero. Out of the factory, turn it on, it has to be zero. If it shows anything like 0 0.01 or minus 0 0.01 or something, you're guaranteed to have a fake. These come calibrated. There is no reason it should be anything but 0 0.00 when you start it up. Now, as you open it up, let's get it opened. I think my thing is too tight. Let me open this up slightly. You want to be sure that if you put a piece of paper in between, let's try it with the certificate. This should be about 0 0.07 millimeter or something. Yeah, so it's 0 0.08 millimeter. Pull it out and you should be able to see a gap that's crisp and clear between the calipers. The level of fit and finish on a real Mitutoyo caliper is of a very high standard and if you see anything in that gap that's missing or any bends in the caliper then you know there's something wrong with your caliper and if you close this up it will again the the indicator would show zero millimeter now you will have no the la the there are two screws out here and these screws will be centered on the casing and they would have a red paint on them to show that they have been uh, verified and put in place. The other thing you want to be sure about is as you read the text on the caliper, you would realize this is essentially a laser printer that has printed this text, which means it has a rough surface to it because this is essentially etched on this plastic panel. And the other thing you want to check is this distance is uniform through and through. This panel when it is glued on would be the dimensions are completely accurate on they are completely aligned on one side. If there's any unevenness you can be pretty sure you've got a fake caliper. The other thing you want to check is you want to check the serial number. The serial number is A2101-5502 a2101-5502. The serial number always has to match between the certificate and the uh, caliper. Now, once that is done, remember this screw doesn't really come off. On the Chinese fake calipers, this screw comes off. On the real Mitutoyo calipers, this screw is kind of hard to remove. It does come off, but it, you know, tends to stay in place. The movement is buttery smooth there is no you should not feel any play whatsoever as you move it around so let me move it all the way and that is buttery smooth movement when you take it to the max end remember this will rattle that's okay if it rattles it's just a factor of the construction of the design if it rattles, there's nothing wrong with it. Let's close it off. Now, another thing that some Chinese calipers have is the last zero is a smaller digit. On the real Mitutoyo, the digits are all the same size. So if I change it to inches, it's hard to do it when you're looking through a camera. Again, you'll see all the digits are the exact same size. The another thing that you want to <coughs> 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 
excuse me the other thing you want to look at is the quality of the print the sticker that they're applying to show the print is of an extremely high level of print of quality there should be the edges should be crisp and the sticker should be uniformly placed but it's a little annoying because out here I realize there is some imperfection so maybe the Japanese don't always get it right but ideally this you know should be completely smooth I'm actually curious why there's an imperfection there but that's okay I know this is a genuine caliper and so those are some of the things you wanna look at when you're checking out your caliper to know if it's a real or a fake caliper and let's turn it off so just remember when you start out with the case you want to be sure there's made in Japan at the bottom and there's the made in Japan barcode out here out there when you look at the caliper you want to be sure that the serial number of the caliper matches the serial number of the uh, certificate of inspection which means you know the caliper was inspected by the the actual model was inspected because each and every single caliper has to be inspected before they can certify it now you will be seeing one of the things with the certificate of inspection is you will be seeing variation in the errors that's okay this is well within the range and if you have a friend with a caliper or you can just compare it against my caliper your certificate should have different numbers there is no reason why the the numbers have to change from one caliper to another so that's just you know a fact of industrial measurement so if you get a certificate where the numbers seem to match another caliper there's a pretty high chance you've got uh, a fake caliper especially if there's two certificates that have the exact same numbers I've already opened mine so I don't have any of the packaging that it comes with so I could have shown you some of the packaging let me put this away and the final thing you want to be sure that it does say the serial number shows up there everywhere it should say made in Japan and the last thing is the origin the old trick where you would be sure if the origin was depressed meant it was genuine is no longer the case since 2018 the origin button actually stands out just like you know the other buttons it was just easier to use when it was depressed it was kind of hard to press and if you turn it on remember all the digits would have the exact same height you could not have a small uh, a smaller uh, digit at the end see this is always hard to press if you have big fingers okay anyway so i hope you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i need subscribers to keep making these videos and in the next video i'm going to actually compare a mitutoyo caliper which is about a hundred uh, sixty dollar caliper against a two dollar caliper that i bought off ebay and you'll be surprised with what the results come out again so please be sure to hit like and subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching and till the next video.